Today we're going to have a look at the prelim exam for Gauteng uh, 2018. We'll start with Word. We need to open the One Wealth Word document. 1.1. 1 .1. Change the cover page at the beginning of the document by following the instructions so that it looks like the example shown below. Insert the year in the appropriate content control. So if we go look, there is the content control for year. Um, I suppose you could probably type it, although that is not really correct. Um, the right way to do it is to actually choose a date in this year then because let's just undo that so the right way to do it is just to choose any date in 2018 and it'll show 2018 okay next insert the text commonwealth games into the correct document property so that the text automatically appears in the document title content control now this actually wasn't necessary because if you insert it into the document title over here, I think it actually goes to the relevant document property. So the way the paper wanted you to do it is to come and put the title over here so that it then appears on this side, but it worked both ways. So by pasting it plain text, then it looks correct and then it appears in the property. remove any other content controls so if i go down you'll see over here there's a company name one i'm going to delete that i click on the three dots and then i just press delete on my keyboard replace the existing cover page picture with the one logo picture found in your examination folder okay so the correct way to do this is to right click and choose change picture work offline and then choose the correct data they said one logo so then that is the correct size that's actually the way it should be done but it wasn't marked that strictly um, I don't know personally I didn't mark it that strictly but that is the actual size it should be because you replaced it um, then we need to move the one logo picture so that it appears directly above the second picture whatever which I've already done and then we need to ensure that the one logo picture and the second picture found on the first page can be manipulated as one object. So there they are. I want to be able to manipulate them as one object, so I need to group them. While I've got one of them selected, I hold control in and I get the little plus signal next to my cursor. I can then click and then choose to group it. You can also right click and choose group. Um, then you must just be sure to actually click on one of the pictures otherwise it'll lose your selection 1.2 make the following changes to the table of contents on the second page change the font in the table of contents style to bookman old style okay so what you could have done is to try to find the table of contents style but I don't see it there already so the one way to do this would have been to actually go to the side here go to options to make sure that it shows all the um, styles instead of just recommended because then it might not actually show all of this um, and then you could go change the table of content style over here and modify it to be bookman old contents i'm just going to show you another place to do it um, that goes together with making the changes so ensure that the heading for south africa will always display in the table of contents and then update the table of contents so the best way to do this is to actually go see what um, heading style the other uh, countries are. So this is a heading one style. So then I'm going to make South Africa a heading one style as well. Then I'll be able to update this and it'll show South Africa. But I want to actually uh, include, I want to change this font. So to do that, I'm going to insert a new table of contents. And I'm just going to change it back to one level and then over here modify I can also change the style but that's not necessary to do it in this case in this case you could have just gone from the start and chosen um, the style from over here to actually edit you see it actually shows this is now bookman old style 1.3 
change the name of the web page for the McKinsey 2018 source found in the first paragraph to Commonwealth Federation. Now a common mistake that I see lots of people made is they missed this little bit. It doesn't just say change the name of the author. I don't know where everybody got that, but I think half of the learners that I have actually changed the name of the learner uh, of the author instead of the name of the web page to Commonwealth Federation. So let's go see how to do that. In the first paragraph, there's my source. I can go click and say edit source. And then I can change not the author, but the web page name to Commonwealth Federation. Remember, spelling doesn't count here, so don't pay attention and waste time on spelling this word correctly. 1.4. Make use of a word processing feature to ensure that the heading South Africa and its respective paragraphs will always display on the same page. Okay, so in, unfortunately, it's not good enough to actually um, put in a page break and not even an invisible page break will be good enough. Um, and please note, keep with next and keep lines together was already applied to the heading because it because you made it a heading style. So you can't get marks for that. You actually need to select the heading as well as all the paragraphs and change it to keep with next and keep lines together. You'll see if I switch my show hide on, it then shows my little dot next to each of the paragraphs. Technically, for the last paragraph, it wasn't really necessary to um, add keep with next as well, because it doesn't need to be um, linked to the Australia heading, because this paragraph doesn't need to be kept with the next one. But um, that is the only exception. This paragraph would still have to have keep lines together to get your marks. Um, however, the mark sheet just asked for all of the paragraphs to have keep with next and keep lines together. Find the hyperlink below the heading Australia and add a screen tip with the text Gold Coast 2018. So under Australia, there's the hyperlink. To add a screen tip, it's not a comment. You need to go edit the hyperlink and choose screen tip and type in that text. Oh, it didn't copy now. Gold Coast 2018. Remember, spelling doesn't count. You don't need to bother there, hey? Just type in whatever you need quick. There you go, Gold Coast 2018. 1.6, find the symbol that appears in the document and replace it with the exact word gold. Right, so there's the symbol. You had to replace it everywhere not just in this little row, you'll see it appears all over the place. So you can go copy it and go to replace, find what you can press paste, but you see it pastes a little book icon. It doesn't matter. It actually finds it if you then choose replace with gold. You'll see you'll have to um, click on more, replace it with gold and choose match case so that it actually replaces it with this exact word gold. Replace all nine icons perfect all right so you'll see even though it showed the little book icon it actually found the icon that you did copy and paste in the memory mark the text c g c below the heading canada as an index entry okay so let's go find this c g c so double click on the word to select it and then just go to references mark entry and say mark single mark because this is a default they didn't ask to mark all now you'll notice if i did it like that and i didn't add in the brackets my um, index is actually correct it doesn't show the brackets inside the xe and inverted commas so please note this was the correct way to do it i see lots of people selected this whole text um, and then chose mark entry and then the entry itself starts with an open um, bracket which is wrong 1.8 change the paragraphs that start with the regulation and ends with are being contested to appear in two equal columns of seven centimeters each with a line in between there you are. You'll see they're always highlighted that you can see it easily. Just select all that text 
and go to layout columns now we don't want to just make it two columns we want to have lots of uh, custom options so we go to more columns we want two we want a line between and we want equal width of seven centimeter each don't know why that happened but that doesn't matter 1.9 convert the end note at the end of the document to a footnote right click convert to footnote easy as that 1.10 format the index at the end of the document to display in a formal layout and in one column so I can right click on the index and choose edit field index and then change it to a formal format with one column okay replace yes there you go you'll see if you did your index incorrectly or you or you marked this one wrong and marked it including the brackets um, you'll see it actually doesn't show a C here because the first character was an open bracket it shows an open bracket instead of the C that's why it's wrong 1.11 change the page numbers in the footer as follows this one is the one that most people struggled with and barely anyone got full marks for this all right so change the page numbers in the footer as follows the format of the page with the table of contents should appear in Roman numerals and should start at I which means one okay let's go do that first okay so nothing on this page but the page of the table of contents needs to have a number right click edit footer and go to page number format page numbers change the format to the Roman numerals and choose start at one at the I okay so nothing shows on the first page footer that's correct but on the second page footer it actually displays the Roman numeral one you should just pay attention sometimes if you do the same thing with uh, regular numbers you have to actually say that it should start at zero because of this empty first page but with the Roman numerals that's not necessary next part of the question the consecutive pages should appear in the accent bar 3 format now before I do that I just want to see here it says the page after the table of contents should start with number one okay so because the format is going to change completely it doesn't have to ha just be the number which was the Roman numeral um, I'm going to have to in insert a next page section break so over here instead of the regular page break I'm going to insert a next page section break now let's see what I need to do here I'm going to go into the footer now the first thing that bothers me two things firstly I can remove the link to previous but there's a problem because it says first page footer remember in this document we had a first page because it was a cover page now this isn't a first page anymore of the section it's just part of the whole section so um, I'm just going to say there's not a different first page for section two remove that and then I will remove the link to previous before I insert this new style of page numbers so remove the link to previous and then I can go to the bottom of the page and look for accent three accent bar three there you go click and why doesn't it show a number let's go try and look at the format of the page numbers I want plain one two three again and I'm gonna start at one because they said I should start at one okay right page one page two three four five you are supposed to carry on checking that it went through to all the other pages you'll see if you left the different first page on then it wouldn't have automatically gone to the rest of the pages and let's just double check the index is still a regular Roman numeral excellent and that's question one for you.